Good morning. Hey, Peggy. Oh, thank you. Good morning, Eileen. Hey, Colleen. How are you feeling? Um, I'm getting there. So about, you know, I'd say 80% there. So thank goodness. Thank God. Right. <coughs> so I'm going uh, just got up, so we'll probably be a little more sniffly coffee. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, getting out of bed when you have something like that makes you feel crappy until you get up and start moving around. Exactly. Get all this stuff out. So, good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Sherry. Oop, I hear an echo. So I, I thought I reached those from the things I worked on, and so I'm really I you need to mute your YouTube. On and so I'm really I you need to mute your YouTube. On yeah, I got to get in there. Doesn't want me to so mute it. There you go. Okay. Um, does it want you to mute me? <laughs> no. That's scary. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Dar. Hey, Terry. Oh, thanks, Terry. I'm getting there. Um, I'll be glad when I'm feeling it better, 100%, that's for sure. Um, I have been able to get upstairs first like, couple days. I didn't even do anything, um, but I'm at least able to, uh, you know, walk up to the docks and in the evening and um, been cleaning and organizing um, doing some Thank art, you. not even like not strenuous organizing, just moving things around. Flip I bet you she bought something though. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't have it though. I bought like a few things, but they're not here. Um, yeah, my my buy button finger still works. Okay. Hi, Helen. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Uh, hey, we're getting better. Um, Kathy won't be here today. She's got not feeling right. Um, her blood pressure medicine's off. So they're going to um, call her in some new stuff today. So she's going to hopefully feel better soon. Okay. Morning, Eileen. Hey, everyone. Okay, so let's see. Hi, Devin. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. So I have, uh, I guess I've been working on a few class things. Yeah, I know. We're taking, uh, her and I are falling apart, right? But at least she'll feel better in a day or so. Not like this, this lingering COVID. Hi, <laughs> Teresa. Hey, Teresa. I, do, I do hate the fact she feels weird. I've never um, been through anything like that. Hi, and Teresa. I've got it just the opposite. <laughs> I'm getting pressure and have to take medicine to lower my blood pressure. Well, that's what she was doing. Well, she had low, didn't she? Yeah, so they maybe, maybe she doesn't, yeah, maybe she needs something in the middle. Oh, thanks for watching, Teresa. Um, I hope that, uh, I, I don't know if you had your surgery yet or not. I'm really sorry you're not feeling well either. Tom just had a kidney stone and passed it. Um, so I definitely didn't realize it till later what was going on. And, if, and then now I figured out why he didn't feel good. His dad gets those a lot. Good morning, Pam. I think we all just need to like uh, 
stick ourselves back together and like <laughs> get stay and get well. Um, I'm getting better, Sophia. Thank you. Uh, luckily, I feel thankful to have uh, art and stuff to occupy myself. As I think I would lose my mind. Well, Surgery. that that wouldn't take much. <laughs> Surgery next week uh, for the kitty says. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's next week. Well, I hope you get so. I hope it goes well, Teresa. Uh, Helen will let me know what was going on with you. Good morning, Pam. Hey, Kimberly. So I've added more things to my list. Hopefully today will be good. I don't, yeah, me, exactly. We hope it goes well, Teresa. So we'll do, um, we'll do some flashcards. And where that goes we never know what in the world we're going to get it's always uh it's always interesting <coughs> hey peggy i'm gonna set this over here so i don't forget it, um oh, the microphone if i get miss something in chat um Ellen, can you just let me know, or if I miss questions or comments, I need to, you yeah, know, I mean, I should see. Yep, I'll try. It's because Kathy's not here, too, so I have one less uh, set of eyes. Uh, <coughs> so. Hey, Michelle. That's right. We'll get art out. We'll art out the COVID, right? We'll art out the kidney stones. We'll art out the blood pressure, right? Exactly. Exactly. Good morning, Xenia. Hey, Michelle. So, uh, you're less busy now, Kimberly, with your mom now moved out and everything. And you were super busy. You know, if you had time to do any art. Hope you're doing well, everybody. Oh, Teresa's, oh, she's loving making Halloween cards. I'm sure yeah. Teresa has a lot of Tim Holtz new dies. Yeah, he's got new stickers and a uh, little, what do you call it, ephemera. And I really enjoyed watching, uh, watching his show Saturday. I felt really crappy Saturday. Um, it was great to uh, uh, have, you know, to watch the show for two and a half hours. I was glad it was long. Um, I enjoy watching it. Made me feel, uh, makes me feel more human again when I'm doing more normal things. And his make, his makers do such wonderful work. Did you guys order any of the Halloween stuff? Amen, Kimberly. <laughs> did, I'm sorry, what did you say, Helen? Did you order any of those Halloween <laughs> dyes? I did, I did not. Um, I know Eileen ordered those, some stuff. I did not order any of his new stuff. I feel like last year I bought like the sticker book and some of that stuff. So um, I think I'm going to wait. And uh, after I get in the mood to do it and pull out my stuff, see, I got yeah, I didn't care. Personally, didn't care for his <laughs> guys. They were not my style. I ordered, uh, oh yeah, his, 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 uh, what does he call them? Makers are just do incredible work. They're unreal. It just like, your mind just like blown. I mean, I feel how, I like how he waits to look at it on camera, so you see his actual reaction to his stuff 
and I reacted the same as him. So I like the the mustache up the nose of that guy. I that sat so here. Funny. Oh my god! I sat there laughing for ten minutes. I could stop laughing from the fact she used the bat upside down for a mustache. <laughs> And then, uh, and then the, the hole through the um, plastic that she cut jagged to have the little face peeking through and stuff. So good. Oh, and I like their, um, <laughs> what, what do you call it? Clipboard things they did. Oh, uh, yeah. You had a fever for three days. Uh, you had COVID. Ugh, I've had a fever for seven days. I uh, finally don't have a fever. It just can't. Uh, my head's clogged. My ears are clogged. Sciency. But my throat doesn't hurt because I don't have as much drainage. I'm very thankful for that. At one point, I felt like I had shards of glass in my throat when I'd swallow. You know what I mean? It was just horrible. I kept thinking, do I have strep throat? Mm -hmm. I mean, Let's see, Eileen, uh, there's some new developments on a lake. Very pretty. Oh, that's nice. All oh, the candy corns. You like those? I liked how you put the candy corns on the ghost. Oh, it is. I, I like, I don't know. For some reason, I'm, I don't have like the, the diabetes and stuff that makes you one of the high risk people, but um, I have thyroid and that. I guess just the immune system can't fight a lot of things, so I think that's why I got to sick. That's why they had to give me the uh, what do you call it, Paxil, Paxilovid or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fever queen. <laughs> Are you able to sleep through the night, Colleen. If I keep myself propped up, oh, I can. I have to prop myself up still. Not as high. Like I was sitting and sleeping up at one point, but I do have to prop myself up as I start coughing. Now I'm mute. I blow my nose real quick. Yeah, Sophia, that's that's what a lot of people say. It's different different than anything they've had. Yeah, this is I like you. Yeah, when I get something, I can't find it off, unfortunately. <laughs> that's why I knew he. That's why he got me to put the stuff to help me fight off. Yeah, Jane like, says. <laughs> you still sound tired and don't wear yourself out just for us. I am that's okay. I am tired, but that's you started off coughing. Yeah, I did too. Coughing inside us is the first thing you got. <coughs> so the um Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sore throat. Yeah. I felt like it, that makes sense. Sore throat. It, it was like, I'm not like a person who gets a sore throat. Like my oldest gets a sore throat before she gets cold and she gets a sore throat first. But I felt like I had charts of razors or glass in my throat. It was horrible. I've never had a sore throat so bad in my life. And I was just like, are you sure I don't have strep throat? I mean, I'm like, literally liquid hurts to swallow. So, yeah, I was, uh, did Eileen's advice. I took, I was drinking soup <laughs> and noodles. I couldn't get, I couldn't eat anything, um, you know, normal food. Did you eat? Did you eat rice? <laughs> I did. <laughs> that did help. It did. I knew that would help. <laughs> okay, I'll show 
guys, uh, we'll do the flashcards and then um, then I'll do a flip through of like my girl binder I've been working on and a um, couple things. And then I also have stuff I picked out like about a month ago to work in in my, um, what's that book? Uh, sorry, my brain's still uh, not there yet. Uh, urban book. So I think I'll work on that. So, okay, so we're behind because of, um, yeah, we're not streaming and stuff. So I'm not sure what number we're on now. <coughs> oh, thanks, Senia. Yeah, I could get the new one. I'm older than you, Sherry. I just didn't. But it turns out that the, the second booster is a, uh, it doesn't help with this new variant, but the next booster is supposed to. So, so the, if you, because every, everyone who did got it, so, you know, it didn't help, which makes sense. They, they just can't keep up with all the new variants. They're trying. Peggy says it's flashcard number 55. Oh, thank you, Peggy. All right, let's see if we can find some ones that we haven't done yet. <clears throat> what have we already done? I think we did this. Movement? Yes. Yep, we did L. Let's see, yeah. movement. Yes, you've done movement. <laughs> so I did think I like this one. <laughs> I remember the ones I don't like. <laughs> if I don't like it, I remember it better. Half empty. <laughs> um, no, no, you haven't done rectangles. All right. <laughs> Draw rectangles all over the page and fill them in with different colors. Or cut colorful pattern paper in the rectangles and glue them down and use as a base to complete a page. All right, that'd be interesting. See, so we can keep going in the back. Um, <laughs> so, for, unfortunately, please tell me we've done this. Yes, we do. Because <laughs> I do not want to do a self portrait. <laughs> yep, I could, do. I could do a self portrait with a runny nose. <laughs> <laughs> Mid century. Ah. Uh. No, you have not done mid-century. Okay. That kind of goes with the rectangles, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Illustrate a mid-century home. Hello, 70s. Uh, collage is seen with mid-century aspects, mid-century women. Oh, you got a stencil, a rectangle stencil. That'll make it easier. All right, mid-century. All right, let's see. It's picked out the date. All right, see if we can get a one behind it since we're on a roll. Oh, nope. 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 Oh, maybe cover it. Oh, there you go. Dream. Dream. No, you haven't done dream. Oh, cool. All right. We're just working through the back. Illustrate a recent dream you had. Mine are too weird to do that. Your dream home, a dream outfit. My dream outfit is not skinny leg jeans. Those damn well things are going out of style. Thank you, God. <laughs> I mean, that's my that was my dream. Skinny leg pants need to go. I am so over the skinny leg pants have been in style forever, and I hate those. I have big calves, and they're all tight on my legs. I don't look good in them. I have man calves. I can't wear them. 
it like squeeze if you if you are a child or a teenager you're set right because you're skinny legs but when you're a woman and you fed babies and you got you got man calves from walking a million miles you cannot wear skinny leg pants just saying so i was happy that the flares are coming back in flares are coming back in Woo woo! <laughs> and so I was like, I have hated buying clothes for the past, I don't know, three years. These stupid skinny leg pants. Like, retire those. And along with the high waist. Thank you very much. I like to breathe. <laughs> Jane, Jane says, Mom, jeans are back. <laughs> Okay, is Bo, Bo House mid century modern? It is. Yes, it is. That's that's true. I could use that. Uh, thanks, Deb. I could use the Bo House stuff. She's helping me out. <laughs> you don't like, you don't, Jane doesn't like flares. <laughs> Janice gets her mom jeans from LL Bean. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Zena, Zena has cankles. inside out to get them off because they because i can't move off my calves i'm like i like these suck i wish these people would just move on we've been stuck in limbo of skinny leg pants way too long i it's like if i'm gonna protest something i'm protesting protesting the skinny leg jeans <laughs> Yes. Oh my God! They're not hardly flattering on anyone unless you weigh seventy-five pounds. They don't look good on anyone else. And I'm sorry, but the majority of the women, and not only children, look like that. So peel off your pants. Yeah, and also, or have a style for kids that's not the style for someone else. Like, why do we have to wear what they're wearing? <laughs> Exactly, Janice. I'm aware it looks good on my body and comfortable. Screw what's in style. Uh -uh. Pam says she makes her own pants. <laughs> That's good. Oh, yeah, Joy's glad they're going too. See, those pants are terrible. Yes, didn't you? Exactly. You have to peel them off your body. I mean, peel them off. My, and I if, mean, you're, literally... if you're wearing socks, you can't get them off. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, yeah, socks interfere with pulling off skinny leg jeans. And you're like pulling them inside out and you're stepping on them and yanking your legs out. Then you got to flip them back around, throw them in the wash. Oh, a pain in the ass. Like, buy skinny leg jeans. Who the hell came up with that, you skinny bitches? Like we the rest of the world, we want regular pants. Thank you very much. That's my spiel for the morning. <laughs> skinny people, we apologize for calling each other. Well. <laughs> She's on a rant this morning. <laughs> it's all because they talked about fashion, your favorite outfit or whatever. So that's what made me think about that. I'm like, well, I'm not putting skinny leg pants on there. That's right. It's my rant for today. <laughs> 
sassy baggy pants. <laughs> I yeah, it's like that's just those are awful. You don't enjoy buying clothes when they're not made to fit most bodies. Like you just don't enjoy it. You just like it's clothes. It goes on. I can go out in public. Like I want to get to a point where I can get excited about clothes again. <laughs> Cranky skinny pants. Uh, okay, so my dream is to burn all skinny leg pants. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I need to cut up and uh, put a bunch of skinny leg pants over a flame and have them. Let's see. Morning, Lena. Thank you, Lena. <laughs> now I'm starting to get feisty again. So here we go. I got all kinds in here I can burn. I knew I would find them in here because it's so fashionable. Stupid skinny leg pants. I know that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a skinny leg pants bonfire. That's my dream. Yeah, when you go to the store, guess what? In uh, now they're not in style. Oh my God, racks and racks and racks of skinny pants. I'm like, ha ha, good luck selling these. <laughs> Nobody likes them. Good luck. I'm having a bonfire of skinny leg jeans. Hey, Wendy. She says it's her first time here. Oh, <laughs> hi, Wendy. Hope I haven't uh, scared you off. I've been, uh, I've been sick, so I'm, uh, I'm a little ranty about skinny leg pants at the moment. <laughs> Welcome. I like uh, your channel. You do a lot with the uh, brother scan and cut, which um, I'm not very good at. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm glad you told us you're here. Yeah, yeah, I love your scan and cut stuff. I've watched a lot of your scan and cut ones. Scanning cuts is, is is hard. Was it for Kathy? I would never. I probably never use it. It's really hard to work. It's not as intuitive as what you would think it would be. But she does. Um, her she uh, her channel is the Paper Brewster, and she does great tutorials on. Uh, with it and as card making all kinds of stuff so fyi if you have a one that you can't work either go watch her <laughs> see women flares see <laughs> Oh wait, here's these are skin. These are smaller. I use these. Yes, you hate skinny leg jeans too. Yeah, thank God I think you like them. Oh, they're the worst. They're the worst. I guess that unless you look like this, they are awful. Awful. Has anybody been watching Lorel's? making her bead journal she hasn't oh, no. since the other night has she i don't think so she i think she may be on friday night 
that, oh, that's right. That journal is awesome. Actually, that's a great spot because there really isn't any good streams on, like any lives Friday night. And here is Saturday night. I need Paula to come back. Oh, Michelle. Talking about Michelle. Michelle Sale will be on at 1 o'clock Sunday on her channel. Hey, Maggie. Hope you're feeling better. Yay, you got your days back. Woohoo! <laughs> It ain't working for you. And that's 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, Eileen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> right? I agree with that, Jane. I think I think it's because they're confused as to, uh, you know, they think that's what, you know, you should wear what's in and if it doesn't fit your body type. And I completely disagree with that. You should not wear what's in. If it does not fit your body type, no matter your age, I don't care how old you are, you should not be wearing wearing clothes that are quote unquote in that don't fit your body type. Is anyone never? Do you remember the show? Uh, my uh, my girls used to watch it. Dress my something. It was on TL. I lost a pair of pants. Um, it was on TLC. And this guy and this girl would go around and they would, like, basically people would be like, my so-and-so needs help and her clothes are awful, her style is awful, blah, blah, blah. And they basically go through their closet and they throw away their clothes. They tell them how, why this doesn't work for your body. And then they go out and they teach them how to buy clothes to, for their body and then give them a haircut and then, you know, Teach them how to do their makeup and, you know what I mean, just, the, you know, all that stuff. It, it's a, it was a pretty interesting show. So, yeah. Peggy said, it, yeah, it, the name of it was What Not to Wear. That's it. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah. And my daughters used to watch that all the time. And, it, and it's true. And, um, you know, they would all, they'd be wearing things that, were not fit for them. It does, you know, it's like it doesn't fit your body. It doesn't fit your lifestyle. Um, you know, why would fit your body? What fits your lifestyle? And and who cares? Like the trend, because you look, I uh, don't look good in it. So, yeah, I like that. Like that. They'd have to go. Out, they'd have to go out shopping and uh, yeah, and you and you would learn a lot too. Like. And then they're funny too. The guy on there is funny. You all watch dumb shows. <laughs> it's sparing you all listening to me blow my nose. Oh, thank no. you. <laughs> exactly. It should be a struggle. Yeah, exactly. It teaches. It was a. Um, it helped teach people, even if you're not that particular person's body type. But if you watched it enough, somebody was going to be on there that had a similar body type that you could learn. You could learn from to uh, how to dress or whatever. <sighs> Eileen, what's the name of Laurel's channel? Oh, God, it's purple something or other. Maybe Michelle can tell us. Purple Forever Purple Creations. Oh, there oh. it is. <laughs> Michelle, are you going to be on Saturday night? You got to watch that bee journal. And what she does with paper, she would scare me. She smashes that paper with her scissors, and it's amazing. And 
And the way she uses the uh, distress inks on the paper is wow. Yes, Maggie, it's amazing. And she streams live on Friday nights? No. Oh, sh so she does not stream live? Well, I, wh when she's on, she's on uh, sometimes with Michelle. Oh, okay. But she's, I think she said she may be on this Friday. Morning, Johnny. Oh, Michelle won't be on until September 3rd for her yeah. Saturday night. Yeah, Maggie, that's what I heard her say. Hi, Johnny. Found it. Morning, Joy. Oh, and the other show that my girls used to watch when that uh, uh, dress show was on was the wedding show, which I think might still be on. Yeah, I think it is. Say, say yes. Say, say yes, yes to the dress. Yeah. Hey, Joy. Hi, Julie. The guy on the show came out here locally. And one of the girls that um, I knew from Zumba, her daughter. Um, her oh, daughter, my God. Peggy's done already. She must not wear skinny jeans. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, uh, cheated with the photo. No space to work with all my Halloween stamps out. Oh, wow. Welcome back, Devin. The, uh, anyway, the, so I know my friends, my daughter's friends don't watch me, so I could say that. But Katie is doing is, um, I might use this card instead of the other. I switched the names over. Um, she's, she's been going to a million weddings, but excuse me, one moment. There's Peggy's card. That's nice. That is mid -cent And there's the rectangle bench and the rectangle windows. Wonderful. Oh, that's great. I'll move there. I'm going to put my arts table right in front of all those windows. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So we, uh, so anyway, so she's been doing is, um, she's do, uh, doing one through five, um, on the wedding. <laughs> so like, like, uh, you know, where you like them or not, or whether they're good or not. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, I don't tell my friends to be mad. I'm like, you think? <laughs> that is funny. So she has a, so she has like a secret uh, of lists so that she grades, she grades the uh, wedding. <laughs> oh, I was cracking up. Where's Sherry? She's probably looking for something. She was here earlier, wasn't she, Eileen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, where's my round? No, Zena. I don't have a channel. I don't want anybody to see my wonderful art. <laughs> well, you show it sometimes, Eileen. Occasionally. Yeah. When we when uh, she makes uh or shows the stuff she's done in the past. I 
Eileen and, should have a channel, honestly. As much as she knows how to do and has done over the years, she should have a channel. Are you saying I'm old? No. Experienced. Oh, okay. She's done it all, so... It could usually be like, hey, have you heard of this or that or done this or that? You know, and she's like, yep. And we're like, hmm, new to me. Diet day. Cleaned out all the bad food in your house. It was delicious. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, Peggy says, great news. Hubby's going to the beach house. She's free for four days. Wow. Ooh, you have a beach house? Cool. That's awesome. Now you can you could get all your Halloween stuff set up around the house. Uh, Peggy does uh, posts on Instagram all her all of her holiday decor so and uh it's pretty neat wow peggy haven't been there for 13 years you sure it's there wow i don't like being hot wow i don't like I don't like being hot either. I'm, um, I, of course, I don't like freezing cold either. So, yeah, it's still pleasing me except for fall and spring. Our fall down here lasts a day and a half. All right. So, I've got to cut out a girl with flares. <laughs> Peggy. Peggy says she's not going to leave her craft room for four days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sherry posted hers. Okay, let's see. You know, I saw so where they go. Um. You can find these book, these catalog books, periodically um, for sale on um, shoot at Hobby Lobby. If um, for anyone watching that doesn't know, and you can you can basically um, get these, and they have a lot of Halloween costumes, which I like. So, you can use these for your Halloween spreads. There's always good costumes and Halloween things in here. So, I tell you, some of the patterns that's in here, I wish that, there we go. Well, that's flares. I wish that they um, would sell the act clothes that look like this instead of how I kept to make them. They really have some. Neat styles in here. Sherry's Never card heard. is down at the bottom, Colleen. Thank you. Oh, oh nice, nice, Sherry. There's the rectangles. <laughs> There's a damn ugly flamingo. <laughs> I love it. Keep it sassy. That's a great mid-century modern. Love it, love it, love it. Again, stupid skinny like pants and everybody looks good in. Yeah. I gotta have a someone there that's not wearing skinny like pants burning the other pants. All right, so let's see. 
I'm going to do this. I'm going to double up on my card again because I feel like this is too narrow and long. These are too short. I need like, I need uh, all my in-between flashcards I've already used that are like not super tall and skinny and not like short like this. I had some in-between ones, but I've used them all. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Devin was coloring a mid-century color page and she had a craft a lanch, all of her alcohol markers. Oh, no. Yeah. Eight and a half is. Hey, Cheryl. <clears throat> hey, Kristen. <laughs> Keep it sassy. <laughs> yeah, did you read the, all the stuff that uh, she has in her room? That was funny. Uh, Peggy. She'll need to leave it. She could do it. She said she could do everything, but maybe sleep down there. But she might do that too. Um, uh, oh, Saturday Halloween for... decorating. Peggy dropped a box uh -huh. of sequins. That's. So people are going to help you decorate, um, Teresa, is what I understood. I'm going to have her here. She's burning her skinny like pants. <laughs> you know, anyone that I, I definitely will probably post this on um, <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> People will be like, what is this addictive, uh, evil person doing? She's burning bodies. Nope, I'm burning jeans. Hello. I'm burning skinny leg <laughs> jeans. I'm not doing anything bad. Haven't you ever had a burn skinny leg pants party? <laughs> if you haven't, you should. Teresa's going to get to supervise all of the decorating. She said she's got so many things she's made over the years. She can really fill up some space. Oh, I'd love to see that, Teresa. I still need to add rectangles to this. Looks like I'm burning bodies <laughs> with the blood. Turning into a Halloween page. All right. I'm going to have to make some notations on here so it doesn't look in the world. <laughs> All right, I need rectangles. What color? Actually, red would be okay for mid-century modern. See what happens when Kathy's not here. I'm out of control. Let's do let's do a spread chair. Now you gotta have fun with your art as you know, doesn't you know, I mean obviously you wanna learn, challenge yourself at times and try new things, et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, you know, for stuff like for these for these prompts, like just have fun challenge you know and challenge yourself like don't just have fun with them it doesn't that's really because there's so some of these like we've done some like elaborate like i did the whole animal safari background for the last one but other ones like this is i'm feeling goofy so i'm just gonna go with it All right, so I'm going to put her here. Put that there. I need a chair. You know, she should fit the chair. Oh, put the chair there. 
Hi, Kathleen. I know. It's, I tell you the truth. Like for me personally, it's it's been like hot, and so I can't imagine like uh, like you know everyone who lives in warmer climates being excited about some of the holidays. You know. I mean, it's been. You know, I mean, this has been a cooler August than we typically have. It's usually even worse than this. But, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of, yeah, once the cooler weather gets here, I think I'll be a little more excited. Sophia said she, for the first time ever she's had issues with previous archival coloring dis, color discoloring discoloring the next time I use a stamp invested in the Ranger archival cleaner and it's really good oh I understand right. yeah she got the Ranger rub it scrub it is that the scrubby? Eileen, do you know what a rub it scrub it is? No. I think that must be this scrubby thing. It's like a square scrubby mat for helping to clean off stamps. Oh. Teresa uses it too. <clears throat> Colleen, do you know what a rub it scrub it is? Is that that uh the Ranger one that they have for the yeah. like the ink pads? Yeah, for cleaning yeah. your ink. Yeah. Do you use that? No, but I should. That's probably not a bad idea. I'm gonna write that down. That's a good idea. Like that's like something they put out a long time ago, and I never think you know I don't own one now, but I think I used to. Is it like a empty uh, ink pad holder with the scrub pad? Like it's the it's by Ranger. Yeah, forgot. I gotta put this on. I finally am so sick of having. I'm so sick of having stained nails and well, cuticles and hands. Um, this is the same stuff that you we used to use. It. I think Barbo was the first person we saw use this, but like now they repackage it, looking like hand shielding lotion. And I'm like, is this the same stuff? But it, it is. They've just kind of marketed it as a, a hand lotion, too. So, because um, I was like, I don't remember it being labeled as hand lotion. So, gloves in a bottle. But that's how they are. That's how they're labeling it now. And yeah, I do, there's another one called liquid gloves, I think. So, does it work? I don't know. I forgot to put it on, so I'm going to work, clean my hands off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, liquid gloves. Maybe that's what she was using. Maybe it wasn't gloves in the bottle. Maybe it was liquid gloves. Peggy says she owns glove, gloves in a bottle, but always forgets to use it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, and they even put it in front of me. I just got this yesterday, and I'm like, i got to remember to use this. I'm so tired of having... I'm so tired of having stained hands. That stuff makes my hands so greasy. The gloves in a bottle, Eileen? Yes. Really? It's, I mean, I love mine are greasy. I've got dry skin, so. I have very dry skin, so I don't know if that's necessarily 
Yeah, I need. That's why everything. That's why everything sticks so well. Like, too much I soap. agree, Michelle. The artist soap is really good. Oh, I use that too for my uh, glove, uh, for my brushes, and my hands. Now I can write them in these little boxes. What I'm <laughs> doing. So if I don't remember later, I'll be like, what the what? <laughs> what was I doing? Are they Tim Holt stamps? Yes. Oh nice. Yeah. Tim Holtz label frames. Kimberly says Xandra always uses the gloves in a bottle. Oh, does she? See, smart. Like I used to have some a long time ago, and I don't, I guess I used it and I never replaced it. I know I had one that was in a tube, not the not in like a. It was like more like a. It may have been the other one, but if this works, I'm good. And if it makes my hands soft in addition to it, bonus. All right. I see a pen. All right. Dream. No curse word. <laughs> my dream is skinny. Leg jeans never coming back in style ever. No, <laughs> <laughs> that way I'll know what I'm doing. Burn. All skinny jeans. Let your legs free. <laughs> your legs free. <laughs> okay. Let freedom ring. Let your legs be free. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, leggings. Burn it all. <laughs> leggings. Burn it all. That's good. Sophia posted a picture of the rub all. Okay. Right, it is stupid. I agree, it's a stupid name. There's the so, picture of the rubbit scrub it, Colleen, if you want to put it up. Oh, there. oh that looks different when I had my head. There you go. Rabbit scrub it. So there's the archival cleaner. And do you use the rubbit scrub it for the red rubber stamps and the clear? Stamps. Good question. Sophia says any stamps and any ink. Teresa says they works on both. Oh, good. Cat put the link in for the rub it, scrub it. Thank you, Cat. Thanks, Cat. All right, there you go. So she's standing on top of the uh, burning her her skinny jeans. There's a mid-century chair in her squares. It's a little off, but it's it suits my opinion about skinny leg jeans. So go. Oh. And uh, and I'll look back and laugh at this. We'll see if it, and how long it takes these dumb things to come back in style. Yeah. 
All Don't right. forget to get it. That was fun. Oh, yeah, I do need it. That was unexpected and fun. So I liked about the props. It's spontaneous, spontaneous fun art. Wow, last time I used this was a 17. And I'll write the prompts on the other side since they're kind of covered up. Oop, upside down. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Devin, Devin said, instead of burning bras, we're now burning skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. Okay. Number 55. That was fun. In the book. Yep. Another one in the book. Another That's in good. the book. You don't like him? Burn him. Oh. <laughs> Burn skin. <laughs> have a campfire have fun and she's like i'm so comfy in my flares <laughs> all right moving on so i worked on on one of the classes that was a while ago um in the get messy monthly art thing and I have a lot of fun with it. I haven't finished the second one. <clears throat> but I did get one done yesterday. I started the other. So this artist does wonky eyes and I actually took a class from another artist that does wonky eyes and um, I really it, I love it and it appeals to me. And uh, I can't think of the other artist. Um, she did a class with wonky eyes, too. And I just think that it's fun. You know what I love? Um, I don't know. I love eyes. You know, wobbly, uh, you know, wobble eyes, whatever. Eyelashes. I don't know. But anyway, so what she does is she purposely has you make one eye not match the other and then just go from there and it really just uh takes the pressure off and then you start working on the rest of the face and you have fun and i really like her style so yeah this one i started i'm gonna finish so you know you do one big eye one little eye one whatever just you know and it, it just kind of like it's fun you're relaxed you're playing with skin, you know, where you want to have normal skin tones or fun skin tones, you're just playing and you're not fussing with the eyes. And I yeah, think it, that's a good point because everybody always puts so much emphasis on, on the eyes, you know, the eyes being the most important part of the face. And if you have fun with those right up front, then you're free to do whatever you want to do. You're not like freaked out about it being, they're not leveled, they're not even i gotta turn my picture upside down to make sure you know and all that trick like look at these stamps you know like she's got the great big eyeballs she's got but she also has one big flower one little flower like that this artist does and oh my god if i did a face like that i'd sign myself into the mental ward oh i love these they're they're abstract they're abstract faces they're abstract eyes and they're not supposed to be it's not realism because who can do there's only a few select people who can do realism on eyes and that's a lot of work to learn if you do things like this you can have fun and create and just not have to worry about being the you know this this specialized you know artist this is more of a uh abstract it's more of an abstract way to look at eyes and art making the girls different skin tones and the hair different skin tones a lot of stuff like that um 
in terms of that is what Diane does too. So anyway, I love this. I'm going to work on this one. I absolutely love the two different eyes. And this is the second class I've done with the two different eyes. It appeals to me. Um, the other is... It is cute. It's cute and it's fun and it's um, it's a no stress mixed media. It's a mixed media face and it's which is different. It's not a portrait. It's a mixed media face, right? And you think about all the actually a good example would be um, some of the different artists I have in here for the girl binder. You know, um, and how each person's style is so different. And that's what makes it fun. It makes me neat. So, like, uh, as far as the color book goes, um, I only add a few images. I found these cute little boots with the daisies and a rooster. I added in my red group. And in the, uh, I added the uh, color rust to my book. So I added a rusty, um, like a really a neat rusty gate as the front page. And on the back side, which I love, is I found these rusty, um, uh, what do you call these things? Hippie bands. VW. Volkswagen. That's it. And so I love this. You can see this is rusty and the other one's rusty. And then, but I love that they painted it. I love how that looks and that green and so painted. This was in one of the um Kimber excuse me, but Kimberly posted hers on Twitter and I posted <coughs> I posted a picture of my eyes on Twitter. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, but he said it was in 30 minutes and I've already been able. I love these stamps. The, let me take it out of the package because it'd be a little less glary for you. These stamps are by All and Create. I be I believe you can find these on Simon Says Stamps, and um, I think Scrapbook.com. I think those are the two places. It's called a It's A A L L and create and the there's also a website of of a a l l uh and create.com but the and is wrote out a n d and you go to their website um these are the designer on this is called her name is janet klein it's blurry i know i have my auto this one's far but i love these girls I think they are adorable. Look at she's got a little, I love these with their little pigtails, the little loops. They've got all different ones. And I tell you, when they come out with a new one, they are like bought up and like crazy. And then you have to wait for it to come back in. See, this is number 356. There's tons. Here's number 300. Give you an idea how many there are. Um, I found, uh, who do I see using these? I saw someone using these. Okay, this one's 515. Look, she's got like little butterfly wings. I love, look at her curly, look at her curly ponytail. And then little heart, and she has little heart lips. Again, one eye is different than the other. This one is um, a bird cage. She says fly when she's holding a little birdie. And let's see, what's the other ones I got? This one's like a little, she's got a little wagon. Rain will make my flowers grow. They're super cute. This one's cute, comes with a watering can and a fence. These little girls, look at the cute little like group of bangs hanging down. I love the little heart lips. They're little rain boots. I think I've got the girl with the potting soil. Aren't they cute, Wendy? I love these. 
I have a sewing machine girl. I love that they have these these girls doing the things that we love, like sewing, um, you know, gardening. Um, you know, they have like this and those birds. They have them with pets. Tulips, this would be good uh, when it all else fails, look cute. Um, this one, the tulips, it makes me think of spring. This uh, this little girl sitting down. And I like to see if she gave her a square head. And then, uh, again, the two different eyes and the square head. And then the little ponytail. Like, you can make girls an art that isn't perfect. Let go of perfect and enjoy it. Because I think we everyone thinks they got to make perfect art to compete with whoever. That's their style. I want to... Mine is, I just want to have fun. Bye, Michelle. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. This girl has two paintbrushes in her hand, her art journal, her scissors, her bucket with supplies, a little... And there's her little paint bottles. And she says, and down here says, I make things. <laughs> well, always remember Tim's famous saying, you do you. You do you. And I also, I think I must have lost the cover, which is why she's in here without a cover. Oh, no, there it is, this one. And there's also a Frida. <laughs> That's cute. Look at Frida, and she, I paint my own, I love the Frida. So, the, um, I bought these in groups, I guess. I didn't buy them out once. I'm sure I bought them oh, here and there. But it is addictive, I must warn you. <laughs> Kimberly's, Kimberly's card is there. Oh, thank you. Let me show my last one real quick. This one's one of my favorites. <laughs> I got pulled out of the packaging because I love hippie stuff. <laughs> Look at her. This is oh. one of my favorites. Look at her oh, with her, her headband. <laughs> hey, Smokey. Uh, there's the peace sign. She's got their fingers up. I'm sorry about the dog. Smokey, chill out, baby. She's got the little bell bottoms on. Bell oh, yeah. She ain't wearing no skinny jeans. <laughs> No skinny jeans for this girl. Just saying. Stay trippy, little hippie. Um, flower, something you're about to bloom. I can't read it's very that. So, but these are cute. This is one of my favorites, just a hippie girl. Yeah, I think these are adorable. I said everyone needs it. There's so much. What I love is you can make whatever kind of art you want to create yourself or take classes or stamps or whatever stencils like you will find your you know what you love because everybody loves different things so i'm having trouble getting that back in oh yeah this one was fun this one i this is nothing to do this one is what kathy got me in a show she goes i like farm stuff she got me an outhouse and a plunger and a toilet <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa, for putting in that coupon code for Ranger. That's Lapa, not Lapa Jeepers. <laughs> what are Fred's for, right? <laughs> so this came out of um, Pauline. The, oh, you, let me show this. Thank you. Yep. Keep me on track. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. That's nice. A mid-century home. She's got the squares behind it, like almost like with the you were doing the yard, the landscape. Oh, I love that. Like a diagram. Now show my eyes. Okay. I love it. That's so cool. You did a great job, right? I would live there too. <laughs> I would live there. Everyone needs a plunger. That's right. You need a plunger and toilet paper stamp. Just saying. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Uh, they do a personality. I agree. 
there's there's Eileen's. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Joy said there is all create oddball farm animals. <gasps> no. Oh, I got to find those, Joy. That's on her doll. That's what you posted, right, Eileen? Yes. That's just a flat face that I painted. It looks like it's dimensional. Yeah, it does, but it isn't. It's flat. It's beautiful because oh. the way she paint she painted it i love the crackle yeah the crackle want to make it uh -huh. nice it's beautiful did you do the crackle first and then no at it? the end at the end you crackled the whole thing yeah nice i love it maybe second yeah it really looks dimensional That's why those eyes on those stamps would drive me insane. It's a different style. Yeah. Exactly. Different style. What's you the, you do you, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. No, nothing wrong. What was the different strokes for different folks? Yep. I kind of <laughs> used to say a long time ago. Um, but this was in the Stamping Tin uh, magazine, and so I haven't done like I put as rust as I put cars, so mind map it. But that's the only new color I added. And I just add a couple things here, and I don't think I've done. Oh, and I think I added. Oh, I did add this in the front. I found this going through magazines, um, and I like this life and color. This was uh, from In Her Studio magazine, and I love that she painted her table. Look how she painted her table with um, all these colorful flowers and stuff. And look at the her wall with all her artwork, and, and it's just it really neat. I'm not sure what this is. <clears throat> Colleen, does paint and markers go through those pages? Markers. If they're alcohol, yes. If they're not alcohol, they don't. Oh, okay. Because like, I did, they show thick, maybe. Oh, wait, this showed through. What we were using, um, what, walnut ink? But these were really, really wet. So this was, this was really, really wet. So this would probably not be the best because we were using walnut ink and uh, trying out the, see that blood through a little bit. Oh, I know it did. I closed it. It wasn't dry. And then it, it went on the other side. Um, these did, but we were using the walnut ink on this one and water. And then we were stamping Robin McClendon stamps in it and going on. So this was a really wet stamping. So these did bleed through. But if you, if you keep it dry, like this was from um, Jelly Plate, then you're fine. But I'm not too worried about it because it's all going to be covered up, mostly be covered up with images anyway. That was paint from a jelly plate. Yeah, that did not bleed through. I just laid the jelly plate down. So paint and stuff does fine. Um, oh, I think I did add, I don't know if I showed it. I did add this one. Mary jelly plated the new, her new stencil. So now it has like a gray tone. So I put that there, but that's it. I haven't done a lot in my color journal. Well, you've done something, so I that's mostly good. spent my time working on the girl journal. Just showed this is an old, old sketchbook I had in 2016. I ripped out the stuff I hated. I know Kathy says not to do that, but she's not here. So, <laughs> so the stuff that was in here was from a class. It was popular and it had a lot of these 3D things that just made my book too bulky. Like it was like fabric with like fabric stiffener or something. And then we put it down and bunched it down and make like flowers, but like just made the book too thick. So I ripped those out, the stuff I didn't like. So I wouldn't do that now. Here's where your art changed. Now this one I did with Janelle Jacobson who she doesn't teach classes anymore which makes me sad um i did this one oh well that was an older book is or now okay i did this one in 2012 and i love this that so we did these 
this is what I was talking about. Like these are the quirky owls and they're quirky owls. And then we did the wings out of paper and added them on top to give them a dimensional layer. And so that way oh, your owls you, are dimensional. Will you zoom in just a little bit? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks for the link. Uh, please. Sorry, I'm out of practice. I'm used to being able oh, to zoom God. out because of being on. I'm used to streaming with Kathy and we have to zoom out because then we go together in a frame. It's like right. <laughs> it's right. in your face. So this one I did. So I, of course, left this one. I always love this one. She does uh, really cute, simple sketches and then would use watercolor on them. And I love this artist. And um, she did do a class, I think, at... Um, someone's retreat but like she doesn't do online classes anymore it makes me sad she was so talented this was part of her class uh this is just making fun little um cupcakes with watercolors and i like that we just made like a little banner she had a, a really whimsical uh a whimsical style this one we did a paper and well we did the they, we made it look like a paper and i like how it turned out i had to use a ruler so there you go to make it look like a piece of paper and um and then like did the little pea pods and stuff that and she always had little janelle jacobson would do like these little swirly curly things off of everything she drew she'd always had these cute little sw swirly curlies i call them swirly curlies that was her style um, anyway, then, so what I worked on, I got inspired by the Stencil Girl Talk blog it's called Stencil Girl Talk. Um, and the one artist did a lot of neat ideas of how to use your word stencils. And I thought it was really good. I only used, what I ended up using was my, um, oh, geez. Hold on, I'll find them. Like, yeah, my brain's still not there yet. Tombos. So I would put Tombos through the stencils and then traced them. And then I used, um, I was kind of going with the kind of my head nature piece, you know, that kind of thing. And I was going through my head. And then I used my new stencil. I got, um, Sean Petit, and um, I love the little trees. So then I used the little trees from her stencil, and I just traced it with a pen, and then went back in with the uh, Tombos and filled it in, and just and then I just like did some little pen mountains. Not that the mountains look make sense, but to me they did. So it's just a just a fun. I was feeling, you know, when you want to do some art and you don't feel well, do anything. Like this was, I did, all I needed was stencils and Tombos and a pen. That's all I needed. And it made me happy to, to make it. So then, so then I tried this one, which was using, this was also in the Stencil Girl blog. And using, um, again, a stencil girl, stencil I have with the farm animals. And she did a little more elaborate uh, watercolor. But I used combos, watercolors, and pencils on this one. And just had fun um, making this little farm scene. As you know, I love farm stuff. And then this one I've got sketched out. I was going to paint an owl. And it will look like it would be real, but not real. Does that make sense? Like, I'm going to paint it, but I'm not going to do, like, like uh, super detail. But, like, so I use this for my reference. So then I sketched him out. And then I kind of wanted to make sure um, I did proportions right. Because he actually looks like he's got, like, a mustache. So when I started doing that, I realized that this was off and this was off. And so it was kind of fun to do the scribbles because it kind of gave me 
uh, perspective. So um, I thought this was really neat. So I got this book based on a YouTuber and um, I love birds. So what I liked about it, it's large format. Leave your reading glasses at home. <laughs> That is one. I didn't know they made a book, a large format bird book. Hi, Kathy. You love which one? Uh, which one did you like, Wendy? Oh, uh, thanks, Peggy. Um, the uh, this one is I found it used on Thrift Books. I think I got it for six dollars, or is it? I think it was thrift books. Don't quote me. Could have been. It could have been. It could have been Amazon. But I mean, it's well loved. I mean, you know, what I mean, it. Yeah, it was thrift books. There we go. Doy. I got it with shipping for six dollars, and you can see that someone loved this book. Like it's bent, it's curled. Like someone just brought someone joy. They looked at this, or they referred to it, and I love that it's been now recycle right and now i get a chance and i was like blown away that i could get a large print bird book i have a lot of bird i'm a i have so many bird books but this one is a good general reference if you want to draw them and i think for me like i'm not going to go like i said i'm not going to do like as much detail as like Dee, Dee would do because she's really good at that i'm going to do a um easier version of him but i think it's just a matter of, of more abstract maybe abstract would be like a more abstract yeah. version of him yeah more maybe a more stylized version yes yeah and that's what i would like to do so i wanted to practice some animals drawings and um i was inspired by this book and um mm -hmm. the lady who was doing these and she has a whole book with like one book like this and she has like, like a, a you know, um, I don't know if they were, I can't remember, they weren't hawks, but they were like a bird, a bird, a bird, a bird, a bird, a bird. And she did these. And it's like one page of like these birds. And then she did bigger versions of, and it was like she did it in a stylized, uh, easier, easier version for people. So it's not so like you're like, I can't do all these little feathers and all the i'm not worried about you know i'm not going to worry about that i'm going to have fun and paint and do and not worry about every little detail because if you want to see every little detail you can look at the book it's going to be like my version but i love the fact that the pages are large by the way i love killdeers we have these in our neighborhood these animals are so neat I Why love do they call them kill deers? That's just their name. Kill deers? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Huh. Um, Never heard of those. But they like fields, lawns, parking lots, plow river banks. But they are really neat because when, if you come near them or their baby's nest, which is actually, I've seen them do it too, is they act like they have a broken wing and walk away like they have a broken wing, like they can't fly to lead predators away from their babies or nests. Oh. Yeah, they pretend they have a broken wing because they their nests are on the ground and they, you know, they typically just run around do, 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 really fast. They have long legs, they run around. They're like little speedy guys. Anyway, I love this book. So six dollars thrift books if if you're into birds if you're not into birds then just fast forward <laughs> so, so i wrote down the like, what the owl um this one was really neat because it had eight distinctive hoot, hoots and it, it and i thought that was neat um you yeah, know just wrote a little bit about it now like here's how my pages are here's where i'm at all over since i've been like so sick um i did this girl and I and I saw this in one of my books, and I did a did um uh, I can do the eyes right again the eyes, so I did her with some closed eyes, and then I used again a Tombow in the background, just kind of writing down a scribbly, making my feelings and emotions I've been going through. So, um, and then just gave her a sparkly little dress, 
and then call it a day. But like, I'm just gonna work in this. I've had this, apparently I've had this sketchbook since, uh, well, it was 2012. So it is 2022. So I think it's time I um, I use this. It has a rough, they're it's just like a rough texture to the pages. They're not, it's not made for watercolor. Like I did this one in watercolor. I mean, obviously it's going to soak in and not move, but you know what I mean? But it's just, I think I'm just going to do whatever. Just have fun. So that was my, this is my sick COVID working in book. The other thing I did was worked in my girl journal and I have been, I had to bump my girl journal into a different binder because I've got found so much stuff that I had to bump her into a bigger binder. Thanks, Devin. Oh, let me back up just a smidge. I think this would be better. So I had to bump into a bigger binder. So Kathy and I started a girl binder about two years, I think two years ago. And I was yeah, wearing her size. And I was wearing this on the other arm. <laughs> so what I've added in, this is gonna be a combination of adding uh, jelly prints or paintings, collage, and uh, things and anything. It's kind of nice too. If you find any images that you like, do you think I may want to sketch that or draw that or whatever? You actually have them all in one place too. And you know, like, I wonder where that one girl picture was in that magazine. You know what I mean? So I went through all of my Somerset studios and I pulled out all of my papers. And I don't know why I've not done this before. Um, so I was lucky enough to get a bunch of Somerset magazines from Johnny Junk Journal Shop. And I had uh, some Somersets too, and I bought some Somersets from her. And so what started me, I started tearing some out for this book. Well, then I thought, why am I not just tearing them all out? So I tore out all of the pages out of here to have to use in my binders or collages are used for inspiration collage on top of it. Like some of these are really simple um, backgrounds that you could easily add on top or use this for inspiration for your own artwork. But these are all, these are in the summer set and I have another stack. So I took all these out, put them together. So I will use these. So I put some of my just painty sketch paper stuff in here so I can just stamp and do messy art. I added the Jane Davenport's, the handmade papers, all that. Um, it, it, for instance, we're talking about different styles. Um, I love um, her style. Now look how she goes and gives her itty bitty eyes and this elongated nose and little mouth. Like that's what she does. Colleen, did you glue in all your canvas paper? Her name is Juliet Crane. I did not only use some of it. Some of it I did decided it just didn't didn't work or wasn't, you know, for the book. I did some, like this one was the canvas paper. I love those canvases. And so I glue I cut these out. And I glued these back to back, punched the holes, and put a couple Julie Crane's girls in here. Again, it represents the different styles. But here's her other girl. Now, this girl, she doesn't have the, she has the little eyes really far apart, which, you know, is not the correct way. But then she has this little nose, but it works, right? So I think it's just don't get hung up on, if it, on it being perfect. If it, because it shouldn't, if it keeps you from creating your drawing girls, then, then I wouldn't do it. That's just my advice. Because, they you know, the more classes I take, I realize, you know, it's good to learn the right way. But at the same time, like, it's okay not to do it the right way. It's okay to just create. This was um, a tracing paper that we did. You go in your uh, fashion magazine. And you use um, uh, like one of these fine liners and you go and you trace the image and you have your mixed media background already done. 
and then you, while your ink is still wet, you flip the paper over and put it on top of the painted paper and pull it off. And then this is kind of the how it looks if you imagine the paper behind it. And you have this girl on top of this painted paper. And it's really cool. Um, it's smeared because this is the back side of it. But, like, I found those to remind me that I did that project, uh, project a while ago. Um, let me speed through because I have a lot in here. Some of these you've already seen. Let me get to the stuff I added. Um, there's a Julia Crane girl I added. Hold on. I'm going to kind of do a quick flip. I won't, as I did show this the other day, I won't bore people. Here's an artist paper that I added. And uh, she's over here by the, oh, what is that called? I can't think of the building. Uh, anyway, and then this one I loved. This one I have a girl on, but she is courage. She is brave. You know, and I love the, the quotes. And again, the canvas girls and the different ones. So I added a bunch of artist paper in here. This was one, and then I put in, I realized I put it in upside down, and I was like, oh, wow. But it matched the pink paper. Um, I found this girl in one of the stamping tins. I love this one, and I put her next to the pink paper. So it's really fun to match and play with paper, too. Like It's kind of like... I want to do what I'm in the mood to do, what I feel like doing, how much mess I want to make or not make, and work on that. I was, um, in the beginning of, of getting COVID, I, like, sat here working in this, and it brought me so much pleasure. Um, the only thing I have is glue. I had gluey fingers. So that was probably the worst thing about it. I had like, gluey fingers. But, like, go through your images. Let me see what I've added. I'm trying to get to the part. Oh, I worked on this one. So you saw this girl. I had her already. All right. And then I found this image, which I like. Ooh, it feels sticky again. Gluey. Um, I added her on the back because this was really like for a wine magazine. It was really flimsy. So added down the back. Added one of the papers from the magazine. But look on the back. Here's another example of someone's art. And um, uh, again, glue. I was gluey uh, for sure when I was working on this. Here's the girl. Look, I should put a little heart on her cheek. Okay, this is another girl I did with that project I put in there. So obviously you want to have blank papers so you can just get in here and work. And then uh, here's Diane's girls, right? And they're really pretty. And she's focused on the face. But then she makes this part like less of the focus. At least on this piece. Okay. There. And then I added these in here. I like yard, you know, gardening and yard work stuff. So I added these girls in here from uh, in her garden. I love this. And these are, again, like you can go back and refer to these. It is healing. It, it makes me happy to look at these. It makes me think of, you know, spring and planting and renewal. And it's like you could you keep these in here. And then you could go back in and you could trace this or sketch this and make your own girl and use this as a reference to paint. You're also, you have something pretty to look at. But you can also use this for a reference painting or trace it and use it for a painting or collage it into a painting. Like, so I think it's like finding images that brings you joy and love. And, you know, I think that's what I'm liking about this. I love that she's got out here on her property um, and land. And she's out here with her sketchbook, sketching. Um, this is uh, her inside her little, like, shed area that she has on her farm. This is another person. They set up a makeshift desk. Um, to art outside and they added these little these old windows um, to make it feel like it's more closed in um, so let's see I'll show you that I transitioned so I got further back so then I transitioned and added some women who are painting this is again Michelle's homemade papers look how pretty the paper matches this and 
then I added some girls painting because again, we're artists, right? So why we don't need to just have figures in here. We can have women who are gardening, women who are creating, you know, just whatever we look at. I mean, I love these pictures. So I added some of these in here. Then I went over to this area. Again, added more of the Stampington papers. Again, you can art on the back, but this one I had fun with. So this one was a old one from a Flow magazine, I think. And um, Kathy and I both have this in our book. And so what I did is I sewed some fabric on the edge. Here's the back. I sewed a piece of fabric here, added some chipboard from a, a kit. I sewed the bottom on here, the little applique. And then on the other side, I already had, um, I just added a piece of the green fabric, the sewing patterns. You could add these in your book because these are have women on. Oh, and flares. Um, <clears throat> then you have the, I, I found a patch, an old vintage page of some women sewing. And then, you know, there's just a blank page behind it that just kind of has a matching color. So this one, I decided to, to incorporate patterns and fabric. So, I mean, it's all, it's your binder, right? You can do what you want, right? Have fun with it. And like this was, um, this is a stamping tin and page. I glued on top another page. But then I found a paper from this book. It has a lot of miscellaneous papers. And I just stamped on it. And now to match this paper and sewed it on this to bring the two together and again like this one oh peggy sent us some cute little book images thank you peggy for my happy mail and some farm stuff and she sent some cute origami paper which i used here and here and some girls from a dollar tree book she found and she matched everything that she sent us like the paper matched the girls and then I had the pretty paper that already kind of coincided and I stitched up here to bring it together. The cool thing is with it being in a binder, you can take it out, you can sew on it and then put it back in where if it's in your journal, you can't make ram your sew under your sewing machine. You know what I mean? Um, I love the back of this one too. This one I like, it's just miscellaneous. I love this with the face with the girls. And this one I added. It's a bird, but I just like it. But on the back side, it has like some Asian girls worked in here. If you look through, there's some different images of people that someone did. Again, these are all from the book. I added the cover or magazine. I added the cover of this summer set because to remind myself again of all the different artists out there. Um, the, you know, another big one is. Kelly Ray Roberts, and this is her style. She has a long neck girls. Some of them had tilted heads, and this is her style. And so it also serves a reminder if you kind of like, you know, need an idea for if you want to make a girl sketch or whatever, it gives you an idea of, you know, what you might want to do, inspire you. So again, it's an image from a book from the Dollar Tree. Peggy shared between Kathy and I added the canvas paper. And I think, yeah, and then again, I added this image in here. I just liked it, um, the, the Stampington image. And then I added one of the girls that uh, was from that book. I stamped, punched a hole, and a little sorry. Um, use a little sewing clip um, just for fun. That's the other thing. All your little cute little paper clips and stuff, you could add those in here. This was from another Stampington. Um, I can't remember okay this is lisa finan i don't i'm not familiar with her but i loved her style she gave her doll her girls big poofy lips like like kissy lips i don't know what you want to call them um oh uh wait helen's got something down below i'm sorry helen i'll pause it's terry's terry's flash card oh, we'll take a pause here oh that's really good there's her squares that look like windows in a building. And then the retro couple. And that's nice. 
they're dreaming of flying in an air balloon. I love it. That is a that depicts a whole story. <laughs> yes, it does. And I totally, I totally like that. Julie, Julie is in chat. We haven't seen her in a long, long time. Oh, uh, thank you, Julie. Hi, Julie. Um. Oh, thanks, Terry. It is fun to, and I have all my messy papers too, because I'm going to stamp and stuff on top of these, you know, so you got to have plain papers in here. And if you color book, you can color, use your coloring book girls and put them in here. Um, again, like uh, the, this is the, from the summer set. These are from Dina. Dana Wakeley's paper pack. Again, this is just like his messy uh, offset paper that I will work on and, and do something with. If not, I'll take it out. And that's a cool thing. If you get in there, you're like, eh, why the hell did I put that in there? Take it out. I like the versatility of it. So again, I just, these are all summer set ones I added. Hold on. Again, stickage. I did, man, it was just like, I think that was I did get painty when I was sick, but I did get gluey. I added this girl's art from an old uh, summer set, 2010. This is part of a collection I got from Johnny. And I like that she took the girl and like here she is like this, this doily. She incorporated her hair. She changed her hair, added flowers and stuff and altered the image. And that's everything you do can do is is alter your images for fun because i mean just think it's all for fun right all right and then again just more blank and then i added one of tamra lamport's girls in here this was from an old summer set <laughs> and you know this is her style her style is you know, all the, the doodles and drawings and the, you know, uh, she'll do that on the face. Um, I don't know. I mean, you all know her style. I mean, she does the exaggerated cheek um, blusher and this is her style. And I think it's good to have, you know, remind you of all the different ones. There's no right or wrong. I love this uh, paper I was able to match <laughs> Uh, with the Tamara Lamport, and then um, I glued this one. No, this is on the. Is this on the back? No, this was from the magazine. I glued that on there. I'm getting confused. This matches paper uh, so well. Now I just added this girl here for dramatic purposes. I just think she's just kind of thinking about stuff, right? I just kind of liked it. Um, I had this girl here. Um, I matched the the paper matched her. I added this girl from a magazine where she's out swinging in the woods. It made me think of she's reading this book, right? And then when she, this is what's playing in her head as she's reading the book and she's reading about this girl who's who's um, who's outside swinging. I don't know. Just kind of use your imagination on that one or not. Or maybe you just like it and you just put it there. I put like one of the image of a girl in her overalls or paint the overalls um, working. I added uh, like a paint palette that was next to it. This came from the Bella Grace book. And then on the back side, I added one of uh, the Magnolia one because I love that she was roller skating. I love roller skates. I love these uh, hiking pictures. I love the hippie hats and stuff that the women uh, wear. I think that's cute. Um, and then this one I liked it from a Bella Grace about being yourself i like she's got a tutu and knee highs and you know i just think that just you know says a lot and on the back side again i i would like the image on the back side I have a miscellaneous paper to, to create on and still have her in here i think i'm going to take a white gel pen and i think i'm going to write around here and use this as a journaling page and this was some vellum and some Dina Wakeley stuff and uh, some stuff from Megan Quinlan. And I just made like a little pocket and, uh, with my painty vellum. I still got to paint my little Megan Quinlan stencil girl here. Um, I think that was already in there. Oh, I added her. I found this one. This is from 2010 Somerset. 
Do you remember we used to do quilling? That was really big. So I love the face um, on this one. She was using, oh, and she also was using um, the straight pins. You remember we were using straight pins and poking ourselves? I don't know, we came up with using straight pins for scrapbooking, but we did quilling, we did the straight pins. That remind, it reminds me of the, of the styles from long ago, right? Um, uh, I think that's all the same, all the same, all the same. That's all. That was already in there. That was in there. I think the back is where I added new, new stuff. Okay, I added her. I like her. She's got. Um, she's out here tending to her sheep. I like. I threw this grungy background paper in here because it matched her um, ochre kind of shirt. So I'm going to, so I have this to play with later. And um, then I added this. This was some, the papers I got from Peggy. And I just, I did, this was all a bunch of words talking about this lady's uh, garden and stuff and her chicken. So I just covered it up and put the roosters in here in the garden or the chickens. I thought that was neat that they're sitting in her garden beds. Here's the lady. And so I just like the whole page. And again, like whatever kind of girl art you like, I like to see when they're out, like in their work, you know, in their farms and stuff too. So if I add that, I found a couple more images throughout the summer set of other people's artwork with Frida. So I added those towards the back with the kind of the Frida, kind of the Frida section. This was in a Somerset studio, uh, someone's artwork of Frida, which I liked. And then here is another one. And this one I pulled out is someone we know. And ironically on Facebook, Martha posted some pictures of her art and said, I haven't done these for a long time or looked at these for a long time. I'm pretty sure Martha, Eileen, isn't Martha Lee one of our friends? Yes, she is. She, yeah. was away, she was away for a while, but she's back now. Okay, Martha Lee is a talented friend, artist, and she was part of the original group when we met on Ustream and with Paula. And ironically, I found her artwork in the old Somerset, and I was looking for Frida stuff to put in the back. And then I saw her post on Facebook that about her Frida artwork. And I was like, that is so weird. It is just so coincidental and, and weird and awesome at the same time. So I put Martha's, um, uh, Martha's Frida in here. Again, I just put it on the back of a, a messy paper. And then I found this one in one of the magazines. She did a Frida, um, like a busted up uh, mosaic. And then this is this girl's version of Frida that was in a summer set. And see, I love, and this one looks like a bird. See, it's like a bird. Kind of reminds me of the, the, the mustache. <laughs> the mustache of Tim Holtz. It's a bird eyebrow. And um, this I may or may not keep. That was on the back. And then again, I just took, here's from the book that can't, uh, I got from Peggy. She kind of looks like Frida. I put her next to the wine. I'll also put on the page up, but that's where I'm at. And then I end it with Frida. But I put, um, this is what I spent working on while watching Kathy Arbor and watching all these different lives. Um, and um, I'm really having fun. So that now I know I had to go and move into a, a larger binder because, and then some stuff I need to add to my book. I just put in these, it has a couple little pockets. I think Avery makes this binder. Um, I still have this in here from Peggy to use. And so, and then I just took a girl from the, one of the summer sets and just slid it in the, in the cover. You can always change it out, but just remember, but like, this has been really fun. So, and this is, um, super relaxing to do. Very relaxing. And Julie, that's, Julie said it's a great big book of yummy. Oh, thank you, Julie. I love all your artwork. 
I was looking on her artwork on her Instagram yesterday. I get to where Instagram doesn't give a fee, and I have to remember the, the technique that Dee Dee showed about like clicking on the left to get who you're following and get their artwork, the latest. Um, so Julie has some beautiful artwork if you follow her and sells it um, at different places. And she said she became a grandmother this summer. That's why she's been away. Aw, I love that. Hi, Jasper. It is a big book of yummy. It's a it's a big book of inspiration, I guess, and fun. And um, it's just awesome. Uh, I love it. So you're gonna use the name Nana. A lot of the a lot of people are going with Nana. I don't I don't know what I would pick. I've thought about it. Maybe when I have grandkids, I will know. But I don't know what name I want to be. I think my sister-in-law, she's going with, um, she's going with Granny. And I'm like, oh my God, that sounds too old. I'm not doing that. <laughs> she's going with Granny. And she's literally like a year older than me. And I'm just like, no, no, Granny. I'm definitely not jumping on board with Granny. I gotta find it. I had to find a different name. That sounds too old. <laughs> Terry said she loved your journal. It makes her want to do one. Aww. <laughs> So I thought I would do is work in this, see how much we get done. Um, one o'clock, Kathy Arbor comes on. And um, this, I have a basket with the uh, urban books that uh, Kathy and I have been working in. And you can see all my, um, most of these I think are posted on Instagram. Uh -huh. And I have uh, things I keep finding. Um, I keep adding to my basket. And then I also have um, like all my stencils that I won't uh, use, could use. And then down below, I have like a book. I love this book for images. Again, just more images. So, so that way I don't, I don't lose everything. So I kind of have it all here. And here is another book that has um, uh, urban walls. And then this book also, um, I got it. Ollie's has a lot of urban um, pictures in here. I mean, it's not all, but I mean, there's some neat ones like that. So Devin's, Devin's flashcard is down there, Colleen. Oh, thank you. So Colleen, who is that? artists that you followed or an instagram that did that three week binder oh um let me look oh shoot um i know devin liked all her posts <laughs> devin seen it um let me look is i screen nice I it liked it, and I, I didn't have I didn't have time to like begin to work on it. I was thinking about trying that for here. It is. It's Art Girl, Art Girl Creation seventy eight. I love that. She's got her retro. The retro. Does she power. have a blog? Does she have a blog or anything? That's so cute. I love it. I love it, Devin. She has a YouTube channel, but barely any any videos. So she mostly does Instagram stuff. And no blog. No, I don't see. I didn't see a blog, and I didn't see like any of these things like on her YouTube channel. But this is what I I thought was really cool. That is nice. I like them. I don't know exactly how she, I think she started off with smaller rings and then went to the three inch rings, but she has um, individual pieces of art, like gluey, painty art. And um, 
I screenshotted a couple. I saved them too. And she used flashcards and stuff like that. It's really neat. And she had a video, um, her latest video up, where she was trying to glue down some fabric. And she had Pat Benatar song playing, uh, which I love. We are strong, you know, that one. I can't, oh, really, I sound bad today. So, um, anyway, I love Pat, Pat Benatar. So, she's like so cool. Um, I want to make sure I didn't lose the rest of my girl because there's only half a girl. Hold on. <laughs> it's been sitting in here for like a month. A pre planned page. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, if I came loose. Okay, now I got to search through my basket for the rest of my girl. Bye, Sophia. Bye, Sophia. Have a good day. Bye, Bye. Mac. Where is she? Okay, I gotta search. There's a girl with a half a couch somewhere. <laughs> I gotta look through my mess. She must have fell out. I love that bad girl stencil. Oh, that they have. They have some really. I have some of the stamps, and they don't. They don't stamp really well. I mean, they're okay, I would say, but the quality is not super great. But I, I do love the stencils. Um, the stencils are cool. And you can't go wrong with the stencils. It's going to work. You don't ever, it was stamps like you never know. You never know if they're going to work. Right. I love the stencil with those numbers on it. Yeah, I do too. It's cool. Looking through my images, trying to find the uh, rest of the couch. <laughs> oh my god! Leave it to me to lose a half the couch. I am the queen of losing things. No matter how much I rearrange or how hard I try to be organized, I still lose stuff. Look at your baby wipes. <laughs> I just like get so frustrated with myself that I just put stuff haphazardly, don't think about where I'm putting where I'm putting it, and then I lose it and it takes me forever to find it, and then I, I just keep repeating the same thing. Wow. It's not good. Um here. Well, we're all in the same boat with you, Colleen, that's for sure. I just like get frustrated that you know you know you have something you don't know where you put it it's like uh or for me i just put it in a, a, yeah the one thing i found what was it that was in my baby white box that i was looking for stencil stencil, stencil. yeah it's <laughs> a stencil fell in my baby box baby white box like who has that happen I think it's because there's so many pieces, you know, when you do collage, you got so much stuff and it's easy to lose something. Well, even a half a couch. Oh my gosh. Let's go over here. I try and I try so hard. Oh, um, also Peggy sent me some farm stuff and she also sent me some stuff in my duck journal too. Um, she sent me this cute little duck cover. From a book, which is really cute, and, and so I should be um, yeah, oh, able to add, it, I'd be able to add that in. Look how cute that's gonna look. So I'm gonna add, to add this and uh, like do like a, I guess kind of like tape it in here so that it opens and closes with some artwork, or or I'm gonna cut it and use both. I haven't decided, but look how good that's gonna look in here. So she sent me that. And what was the other duck thing? I'm losing my mind. So on. Oh, oh, and this one I found when I was playing around with the new duck stamp I had. And then just like, I don't remember what we worked on, but I thought that just actually in, in with little leftovers, 
It just actually made a really cute page that was uh, part that of. Is, that is nice. Yeah, that was cleaning off stuff from working on another page. And it ends up making a nice page. So I actually just found that. Why there. does it have a hole in it? <laughs> no, that part I don't know. This <laughs> came from a magazine. I'm going to add that. I love Doc says, if you know, I, I'm going to add these. Um, and uh, yeah, I found that. I don't know why there's a hole in it. I'm guessing a lot of spray. <laughs> That's my guess. But yeah, Pat, uh, Peggy sent me some stuff from my journal. Mm -hmm. and so I, if I can't find it, I may end up just ending my stream here because I don't know where it's at and I don't know. I want to pick out something new. I can't believe I've lost the couch. How do I do that? I had a really cute layout plan. I know I've showed it before while streaming. Like, oh, I found this. and Yeah, you did. The left-hand side of it has like a window, I think. Okay, that's what I thought, too. It's even on the wrong page. Like it did have a window. Yeah, because that's right, because I was going to cut it open. All right. You guys, someone has a memory. See, that's where you get to where I got to working on other stuff. So that's uh, it. Kind of planned on him going here. I love, the, I love how that looked. Maybe it's back here. Because this one has a window. Was it this one? Because if I find that page, she's hoping I'm going to find the other half of my couch. <laughs> God. I'm it sorry, might have been that page you were going to put her on. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's for, no, it was this one. Oh, it was that one. It was this one. And she's going to be sitting out here in front of the house. I had these. Well, I could at least do some of the background stuff, but I'm not going to be able to glue her down though I find the other half of the couch. Oh my gosh. When I find it, you guys are going to crack up laughing. Oh wait, I bought his second book. Hold on. Let me have to say. Yes, I forgot I bought a second book. Woohoo! I could save the day here. I love this book so much that I bought a second one because I was losing images while while cutting it out. Okay, where's my eek? Yay, for me to finally remember. I gotta do it won't take that long because to do either. So I'll try to get it done for an hour. Or I like got a little less than an hour. Hold on. Okay. I bought a second one. Thank God, since I lost a half a couch somewhere. All right. Day is saved. Woohoo! Our art is saved. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that dar that it was uh it was a limited edition. I forgot about that. All right, I gotta cut this one. I'm gonna cut this out. This haircut book I found at Ollie's and I love it. It's got colorful urban um pictures in it it's it's really actually an instructional book on how to color your color your hair for a hairdresser to color it in these fun colors and but it's got some awesome city graffiti and seams in the book that i love and you found so, it at ollie's i found this book at ollie's wow Ollie's is like the coolest 
place when it comes yeah. to books. You just yeah, yeah. it's hit you or walk miss. in, you walk out with nothing, or you walk out with fifty books, or you walk <laughs> out with nothing. It's it's hit or miss. Yep, yeah, yeah, because it's closeout. So you know whether you find whether you find something that appeals to you, you know, I mean, like, you know, what you're looking for. So it's hit or miss, but boy, when you do, when you do find it, I am so excited because the prices are so good and you're going to cut them up and for collage anyway. So if you're going to cut up for collage anyway, why not, you know, get it at a good price? So yeah, usually they're under five dollars. Yeah, this this one was um yeah, this that one was four dollars. So yeah, Kathy and I have been working in this over the summer. And uh this one and the other one. She's worked more in this book. I've worked more in the other book because it, it has larger pages. But both have been fun. Uh, both books have been fun. Just a different, um, a different style. Just something different. I think that's what we're all looking for, right? It's just something different to spark our creative juices. learning to create you know diff, you know not just the same style the collage is so much fun i think okay uh, it, you know i feel like if you do and uh, whatever kind of art you can do you can do collage because it's just fun all right so i'm gonna do pull up my stencils i think i need like oh, here I'm sure you have one, right, Julie? I saved the day by buying. Remember, I bought two because I love the book so much. The images are so fun. Um, you have to look and see if you do um, or near you. I tell you, like it's just the book section is huge, huge. There's books for everything from cooking to kids stuff to religion art man books like whatever they get expensive table like a uh, cocktail table books that i love and these massive books that you would just pay an arm and a leg for they get too and um some of them are so big and heavy i i I went there, you know, and this is, so I couldn't even pick it up. I was like, I can't even pick this up. Let me put this up top. Now you're going to put exit or, ooh, maybe one way. That Maybe that would be better. All right, where's my black paint? My most used right now favorite black paint is the Blix Matte Acrylic. This is my favorite paint right now. It's uh it's a true it's a true matte it's a true matte black. It's really nice. I've been I using think, I've been I using think. Finn and Bar's black impasto paint and that is really nice too. Is it matte? Yeah. Oh cool. It's a thick paint. Thick? It's like a it what like is it like a paste and paint combined? Mm. Not really. It's impasto. It paint. looks like a heavy body paint. Hmm. I don't but know it, that. it covers wood so good. Oh, does it? Oh. What are you so, using it on, Eileen? A clipboard. Nice. Oh, you've been in your, you said you would really love the clipboard. Ah, careful, Colleen. Uh, the clipboard that was one of the, his makers did the other day. Yeah. 
and I found I had two of them, so I figured make one. Is it like a regular size clipboard? No. Is it the Tim one, the small one? Yeah. Okay. Now, does they have one with without a clip and with a clip? I can't remember. I know you can buy the clips. That's what I was trying to remember. And maybe it, that is to to make your own. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. That they would be nice to if Johnny put them on her. Um, what does she call her boards that she does? Oh, yeah. Uh, writing boards. Writing boards. That, that A clip on the top of that would be really nice. Yeah, like these are her um, Johnny's writing boards. Right, if they had one of those clips on the top. I'm yeah, sure she could do that. It only takes two holes and screw it in. Oh, that's true. Because actually, like the big one I bought the other day, uh, what I decided to use it for is when I get, I've got a couple new of the Sensil Girl ones that I haven't tried yet. And I use one of the large, uh, like, Fenna Bar clips and, you know, at the top of the board to, like, hold the, this is like the Paisley one and the house ones. I haven't used either. And I want to, I want to use these. So, and the stencils like get get lost easily, so so I just clip them to the board, so I remember and can don't lose them. Yeah, the clips on the top of them would be really nice. Yeah, you could, we could put in we'll put in a request. Yeah, to be a Johnny still not here. <laughs> Oh, was she here earlier? Yeah. Oh, crap. In the beginning. Say, oh, I didn't even say hi. I didn't see her. Dang. That was rude. I didn't see her. I have trouble keeping up with the chat. If I miss you, I apologize. I think you stepped away for something. Oh, I was hunting for a stencil. Okay. That makes you feel a little bit better. Oops. Blah, my A. So, Eileen, how are you decorating your clipboard so far i painted it what color did you paint it the black black okay that's gonna be cool so what are you gonna put on it i'm gonna do the a halloween one. Oh, nice you think you'll attach it to a journal or anything or no it's nice because it'll stand up somewhere it's making matters worse. I need to just leave it. Just leave it. This is where I have to tell myself to walk away. But I'm like, oh, I messed up the A and I messed up the D. Now I gotta figure out how I can make this look like it meant to do. I'm gonna just do like a I'm gonna do this. I meant to smear it. Well, if it's smeared, it goes with the whole Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm going to smear it so it looks a little there. It looks like I intended on screwing it up. There it go. Woo, woo. Figured it out. All right. Smear it. Go with it. The muse is spoken. I'm supposed to smear it. All right. So the, the clipboard stands up, Eileen? No, you can put it against something. Okay. My, I like the clip. I like the clipboard. Um, the clipboard that Kathy has on her journal. The clipboard journal or whatever she got from that class. Do you remember? Right. And uh, that I thought was really cool.
feel like doing that, do you? Like, uh, I looked at my city stencils real quick. Can I figure out last one I put on here? That might be kind of neat. It's like the stores. Hold on. Did you have to put two, two coats of that paint on the clipboard? No. I mean, no, just one? Oh, that's a good question. Where she needed to do any sort of prep work. That's actually a good question. Because, it, uh, yeah, like, you know, was it, um, was it raw? You know what I mean? Right. No, the, the clipboard? Yeah, like, did you have to, like, no. prep it? No, it it has some kind of coating when it's smooth. Oh, cool. I'm surprised you didn't have one. I do, but I've never done anything with it. I I didn't like decorate or anything. Like I never thought about the coating. Like that I have this one, I just clipped the card and oh. I've never done anything with it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you can unscrew. Yeah, that's true. It is. It is smooth. It is smooth. And all you do is unscrew the clip and to paint it or put paper on it. Oh, that's neat. That was a plastic second. There you go. So, yeah, that's what she's talking about. I, I say, got one. It's never done anything with it. I don't wait to see what yours looks like. I mean, because most clipboards are, you know, they're put on there with rivets, so you can't really remove it to paint it. Yeah, that's true. Has anyone else done any clipboard art in the chat? I missed Tim's Saturday stream. So what, what did the artist do with the clipboard? Um, I'm trying to remember what was on there. I mean, you have to refresh her memory. It was all Halloween, and then she had a book on the top of it that you take off. I just, yeah, I say I can't remember. Ooh. Oh, I had a book under the clipboard. With like the, a little mini journal. That was hooked onto the clipboard. Hmm. I have to go back. There was like so much shown. I, you definitely could like watch it again because there is a lot to to. There was there was a lot to take in. I know that um, Eileen says you need to take a nap afterwards. <laughs> because there was uh, a, a lot to take in, but I think. You know, he's got other things to show, so and I don't mind a long video, so because I do long videos. No, so. and then and then he did some techniques at the end, which was nice. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did show those techniques at the end, which was pretty cool. So, and he'll be on this Saturday doing the, the stamps. Oh, that's good. I like this. Can't face adulting today. <laughs> I love these colored stickers. These are, I think, these are Dino A. Uh, no, Diane's. These are maybe Diane's. Briefly. I think so. Kept my mouth shut. Almost kept kept my mouth shut. Let me see if I can find that girl's. Oh yeah, find her. Yeah, she's probably she's as a blog. On, she's on Instagram, uh, Instagram, but she's also has the uh, YouTube. All right, up in there. Woke up and went back. 
woke up, went back, no adulting today. And I'm looking at her, like, with her persona here. <laughs> like, clean toilet. Almost ironed. <laughs> here, this, way, this looks like her. There you go. Hangover from hell. <laughs> She's young. We'll put hangover from hell. Can you post Instagram on uh, YouTube? Instagram? Yes. There's her clipboard if you can get to it. I need some splashes on here. Where did you post it, Isaac? There, she put it in chat. Oh, okay. And let me see if I can find her YouTube. Oh, that's way more than I needed. Forget, this stuff is like highly pigmented. Right. Oh. Here's her YouTube, but she doesn't. This is not on her YouTube. Is my temple spray not working? Oh, I spray that out later. Hopefully, I have multiple ones. Let's see if we can do some splashes here. I think we need some green splashes. Ooh, I feel it splashing on me. Hashtag wish I had an apron on right now. <laughs> it's a gray shirt with bright green. Woo wee! Come on. This is splatter. This is splatter danger. That girl, need, that girl needs a puppy dog running on the floor near her. <laughs> she needs a dog? Yeah. She better have a leash, right? She's sitting out in the middle of a, she's sitting out in the middle of a city street. So, yeah, she better have a leash. I should have, I should have done, make this look like rivets here. There's the um, picture that Eileen wanted. Mouse, mouse. Oh, thank you. There it is. That is cool. I wonder how she got what she used on the clip to make it look that blackish. She used his distressed paint. She probably used the foundry, foundry wax on it. Oh. She said she mixed some Ranger Crypt Grit Paste, oh, mica what? sprays, and mica crayons for a little extra special grunge. Oh. Okay, there you go. Huh. And that book on the front comes off. I don't know whether you can see, but one of the people in that picture in the little book has a skull for a head. Right. And then, then when you take the book off, you see that person underneath normal. That's cool. And I like how she's got, is it like black lace pattern on the very back, on the, underneath the book? You mean on the clipboard? On the clipboard, yeah. That's one of Tim Holt's papers. Oh. I think that's worn wallpaper. That's cool. 
they just do amazing work. They do. And, and even though that has a Halloween theme, all of those things you could apply to, to a lot of stuff. Yeah, you could make it a floral clipboard. Yeah. Steampunk or grungy or any. Yeah. If you go to his uh, stream and he t he takes that uh, clipboard, up, <laughs> they takes a book off and all you can see what what she did. What do you think, Ailey? Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> She's the girl that did the um, bat mustache. Oh, too bad you can't. Is that glue, that uh, couch glued down? Yeah, but I see. Yeah, I can't get. Let's see, maybe. Because that would be funny with that door on the other side. The Over door. Here. No, the the left side. The left. This one. This is the. This is my right. This well, it's our left. left. Okay. What? No. Here, go go over one a page. Go the on the page with the window. The page with the window is on the left. Right. Okay. okay. All right. So put them like over there. Put now. I say, can you take them? Take that couch off, and no. put them peeking over the couch. Oh, be from behind it. Yes. At the top. Yes. Ah. <laughs> like right behind her head. Uh. Can you un undo that couch? You want it behind her head or on the ground? Behind the couch. <laughs> okay. Behind her head or this side? But this side. Oh. Over here. The window side. Window side behind the couch. Okay. All right. Like he's peeking over the couch. Luckily, I only glue sticked it. a little bit but it's worth it we'll get them in there all right let's get some of this white thin out this white so the every who here did uh did watch tim's saturday show just curious who here actually was able to watch it or watch the recording. I'm just curious how many of our friends were in, were watching, you know, but we're not chatting, so we don't know. What was your favorite part, Colleen? Um, I think my favorite was Louise's, Louise's uh, book with the, the upside down mustache uh, bat and the cracked uh, acetate in a cracked acetate window. That well, that girl Susie that did a clipboard, she's the one that does the uh, bat mustache. That was Louise. <laughs> well, it's on her uh, Susie's uh, YouTube. For YouTube or Instagram? YouTube. Really? It was Louise. I need to cut the white off. I don't like the white. It's going to be a little I, I got to cut this white off. It's just, I don't like it. At least some of it. It's just too much. It's d detracting. How are you feeling, Brooke? There. He's peeking over the couch.
Do you like it or not? I do. I'm just trying to see if I can get it. How much if I could pull this up to get a little more behind? There. Now I'm just going to glue that back down. I like it. It adds more interest to it. It's kind of boring otherwise. Right. Which I thought that is kind of, it's, it's cute, but it's not, it's nothing to write him about. So I like this. It's a, the other thing I thought about adding was the, this dog over here who's reaching up to get the pepperoni, but he would be coming up from here. Um, great, like put his paw on the uh, chair, and I thought that was cute. Either one would be cute. I mean, just, just there was an audition just for fun. I like that one too. Our both. Let's see. Let's just see what happens. Are they cupcakes? Uh, donuts. Have donuts. Those, are, those looks like some fancy. They look disgusting. <laughs> yeah, they would be too sugary for me. I'm a, I like muffins better than I do donuts. The only uh, donuts I'll eat are French crawlers. You have to have it to where he's like got his paw on the his paw on the chair over here. That's why I saw that. That's why I thought about it. So you could have him over here. You could he have cute. you could have you could have this crazy dog back here. I should kind of like that too. And then I like that he's over here. Like pay attention to me too. I think I'm gonna add both. Why not? Why not? That adds more interest to it. I agree. I mean, it, it looks cute, but it's boring. I thought that when I got that, I was like, well, it works, but it's boring. Thank you for the suggestion, Eileen. Now, now it's less boring. Now he's over here like, pay attention to me. That would be my dogs. And then my other one runs over. Oh, pay attention to me. They jealous of each other. So funny. Doesn't matter, just that it's just all the you know, it's like kids, they just do. Okay, I like a little more. Is it here on the other page? No, let me just have them over this way. Put that in there. And that'll be down. Okay, I like it. I'm going to put him right there. He's going to go there. I'm going to repair my couch. <laughs> well, it is, you know, it is a couch sitting on city street. So I think if it's like less than perfect, I think we'll, it's okay. I Cause, think so. Because <laughs> who else has a couch in the city street that's so fancy? So. That's Fifth Avenue, New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the dogs. That's a good idea. Who let the dogs out? I don't know. That's cute. Enabled already? Were you? What were you enabled by, Brooke? The paper clip? Uh, a paper clip. God, clipboard. Oh, fancy donuts. <laughs> there you go. It's my mouse. Very oh. nice, Colleen. Yeah, now no. that does look better. So there, he's over here, and then you have this one over here gnawing on the on the couch. She's like, really? Really? I've got a hangover here. Oh. <laughs> that turned that cute. Thank you, Eileen. It needed something. Now it's not so boring. It's glary because of my ceiling lights, but 
if I put matte medium on it, it would be less glary. But I hate to use matte medium because uh, it's really, it, once it's down, it's down. So the glue sticks a little more forgiving. And if you're not putting like a, anything on top of it, you don't know, you don't really have to use the matte medium for this unless you want to tone down the glare. Do girls still wear those stockings? Oh, good question. I wouldn't want to wear those either. Maybe the ones that walk the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really see them much anymore. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Brooke. That's fun, isn't it? Hey, did you hear our request for Johnny to add, uh, uh, Eileen said to add clips to her writing boards? That you could pass that along to her since so you probably talk to each other. She says the big dog needs yellow eyes. Yeah, his eyes kind of need something. Yellow eyes or green eyes? It makes it look possessed then. His eyes are like a bit weird. I will say his yeah. eyes are a little weird. He looks kind of like a gremlin or something, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah he does he does uh he does have weird eyes let's take a vote don't use green it'll look like that lady's hair that's true who thinks i need to color who thinks i need to color in the dog's eyes oh god <laughs> kathy berg is here and says he needs google eyes <laughs> oh there now i got the glare off now you can see it it's my ceiling lights. Hey, Kathy. Uh, Google eyes. Yeah, Kathy's in chat. Hope you're feeling better, Kathy. Let's see. Let's audition those. Everyone should have a box of eyes. Just saying. <laughs> I can't believe that. All right, I had to take a blow my nose time out. <laughs> All right. Ugh. You know, you think, oh, I'm going to get it all out. No, your body just keeps making more. It's just, it's like the dog hair. They never stop shedding. I feel like I'm not, <laughs> never going to get all this sinus out of my head. Bye, Terry. Have a good rest of the day. Bye, Bye Terry. Terry. Oh, my God, Colleen. <laughs> He looks like his tail is in a socket. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> he looks like he's very surprised. <laughs> he's very surprised. Kathy likes it. <laughs> or you could give uh, eyelash, big eyeball eyelashes. Let's see. Now he looks like. He looks drunk <laughs> now. <laughs> he <says> look drunk. <laughs> Bye, Gilly. Bye, Gilly. Bye, Gilly. Okay. Let's take a vote. Is people like drunk dog or crazy dog? I like the oh. drunk one. I 
Oh, Joy okay, said find a liquor bottle. Right here that she's recovering from a hangover. Joy said you need to find a liquor bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go with drunk dog. <laughs> Put the liquor bo uh, bottle on the couch. Hey, all right. Uh, okay, someone look in the uh, 101 whatever. It's either the liquor bottle, that one big cutout book. Um. Is work. This one's probably not clogged. Oh, shoot. That one book with the miscellaneous stuff. I wonder if there's a bottle in there. I'll grab it real quick. These have been a little smaller. They've been better, but I have like tiny ones or giant ones. Oh, wait. These were smaller. Hold on. These are a little smaller. Hey, after Halloween, you can always find googly eyes and mark them. Oh, I'll make sure I remember that. Yep. Googly eye clearance, man. All right. Little eye or big eye? Well, I could do one or the other. Who like, cares? Like the one pictures. One big eye, one little eye. I like the one I one big one little. Eileen, uh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, there it goes with my early early the picture. I showed you the one eye bigger than the other. <laughs> exactly. All right. Now I keep thinking one eyed, one horn flying purple people. <laughs> Okay, let me get that one uh, book with all the weird miscellaneous stuff in it. Yeah, have a look at that. Uh, Devin might have left. She probably she probably knows the this book better than the rest of us. Is this yeah, she did leave. She did leave. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Would there be liquor bottles in here? I don't know. I'm going to glance to see it's animal section, seashells, bugs, mm -hmm. flowers, gems. Head back this direction. <laughs> it's funny that this is torn. It looks like the cat's playing with the building. <laughs> it's just that I use part of the cat's. Oh, that's funny. There's furniture, toys, food. Oh. Uh, it's food. Would it be with food? But I just. All right. I'm going to look for a liquor bottle. And it needs to be. It needs to be fairly small. I don't know if I could print one off the internet. That would be small. I don't know. It don't look like there's liquor in here. No. Ah, that would have been cool. Is it would it be. It needs to be proportionally. So we want everything proportional, not like his eyes. So, okay. Or like him either. <laughs> I have to look for, I will look for a liquor bottle and then I can resize it and print it out. Hopefully you could, you couldn't find one either. And we'll, and we'll sit one on the couch or I dig out my Halloween stuff from the basement and get a, a bottle from that. I'm sure I have some sort of potions or bottles or something or other, and I can add. I think it does need to have some liquor on the couch. Okay, I, that's if someone uh, finds a good image, you can uh, set it, post it on like the Facebook group or 
or someplace where I could see it and I'll hunt for it down. I want to do that because I already made everybody wait while I search for a, a second half of a couch I lost. So I won't keep everybody waiting. Wait. And Google search a, a wine bottle. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone for being here. Kathy Arbor is on in 10 minutes. Um, she does mixed media today. Last week she did a uh, girl painting that was pretty cool. So I appreciate you coming and uh, and uh, having fun and joking around with me. And I will see you guys Tuesday at Kathy's if everything's going on, not going on there. Kathy sent you one on Twitter. And uh, let's see, Twitter. Okay, we look. I don't want to make everybody. I felt bad when I had to wait while I was searching for a couch. Okay, where is it? Let's see if I can print it real quick. I'm just don't. I hate to make people wait. Uh, copy image. Use the VAT 69 one, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, what is that? I have no <laughs> idea. I can't pull it off. Sometimes I could steal the image and pull it over. Oh, I did. Oh, good. Now I can print from here. No, stop it. I want to print. Oh, come on. All right. It's going to make me put it in paint to print, of course. Print 2D. At least I have this back on my printer. So let's see how big this prints. <laughs> okay, I got to shrink these. I'm going to cut one out and see see how it looks. It, it's giant. Well. Print. Okay, we print a smaller one. We'll try it out. I know I'm low on ink. Uh, I ordered some. Hush. All right. My computer's like, you're low on ink. I know. These are cute. <laughs> if they were drinking bottles this big, that would explain a lot. Let's see. Put, put one big one under the dog's head and get, give him a tongue like he's licking in the bottle. Thank you, Kathy. Find the image. I knew, yeah, I'm not quick about it. Isn't that any funny of how fast Kathy found liquor bottles? <laughs> <laughs> there could, there's something to that. <laughs> hey, this green one kind of matches her anyway. We cut out all three together first before I cut them out separate. See how I use them. Okay, this is a page. It just went in a whole different direction. I like it. This is fun. Why not? Art is subjective. Have fun, right? Why not? You want to have it on the ground? They're pretty big. I, I could use the, this, this one may fit by itself. 
the vet. It is a cool looking bottle, I must say. No idea what this alcohol is, but I do like the way the bottle looks. I could have it tilted. Do I need to have it laid over on its side? I would I lay, lay it over. And then have like a... So just like laying down. Backup is important. <laughs> then I guess we can see if we can have like one back here for the dog. Hold on. Just saying. Something like that, maybe. Then we'll lay these on the couch. What do you think? Yes, no. On the doggy. <laughs> doggy. Kathy said, keep one on the floor. I have it laying on the floor. Okay, I have the big one laying down. Oh, like she's got her foot on it. <laughs> Wait, I worked out. Oh, collage is fun. I can't say enough about fun collages. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. Look. Her boots on top. <laughs> oh my gosh perfect joy that's that a good is, addition that is great that's a good addition and it's funny as i started it off that she woke up went back to bed and had a hangover from hell and then that's the direction end up going <laughs> oh that's funny That's perfect. So what do y'all think? Not bad for a, 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 a group effort. It's really good. We, we had our, our beginning and then built it up from there. Oh, my gosh. It turned out great. That's fun. I'm glad y'all stay around. We finished it. Woo, woo. And time for Kathy Arbor, too. We finished it. We did it. I must say. That's awesome. This is one of a kind, just saying. That, that's one thing I have liked about these pages. They have been one of a kind in this book. So thanks again for uh, Helen and Eileen and for modding and uh, Dar, who works really hard and chat with uh, taking care of links and everything. So I appreciate you all. And uh, have a great day. Well, we'll see you Tuesday. And I'll probably be lurking over at Kathy's while I clean up my mess. <laughs> so, <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. bye.